So just talking about the uh, the diametaceous earth. I wanted to show you guys what happens to it after it rains. All right, it's all gone. It all washes in. So it's something that has to be reapplied. Now one of the things that I did yesterday is I came out to the pepper plants and I was looking at them and I, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and checked on some stuff about aphids and I noticed that there was a ladybug out here and I noticed that we have lots of ants. I can see the ants all over the place but I couldn't see anything else so I started looking and on the bottom of the leaves I could see aphids. See this? I came out yesterday and wiped all these off. Now, I'm not sure if the yellow, I need to go do some research. I'm not sure if the yellow is ladybug eggs. If that's ladybug eggs, then I'll leave the eggs there. But I manually removed all these aphids. And I don't know if you can see this, but you can see tons of ant activity. So I am definitely not the gardening expert. But, like I said, it was just yesterday that I came out and looked on the bottom of all these leaves. And I did the manual removal, and that was, um, I just put some rubber gloves on and I just crushed all of the aphids that were on all of these leaves. And so that's kind of a, just a manual way to do it, instead of trying to do it chemically or something like that. And um, I come out this morning and as you saw already tons of them on there so I did check the other plants I checked the because you see how you see how big these are getting I mean look at this this is huge so the yellow squash is coming in very nicely and the zucchini and I checked all these plants I checked the cucumbers ah that's cool I didn't notice before we actually have some flowers on the cucumber even the one <laughs> Even the one that I transplanted, I didn't think it was going to do very well. It looks like it's going to do okay. Because I split some of these up. There was a ton of them coming out of each one, so I moved some of them. And uh, I checked the leaves on all these. Checked the leaves on the tomatoes. And, of course, my little plants aren't big enough, really, to have aphids. But I did look at them to make sure that there weren't any. And there weren't any on any of the rest of these plants. It was just on the peppers. And I don't know why it's just on the peppers. Maybe it's something about peppers that they don't like. And they just seem to be on the jalapeno plants. The habanero plant had had very few of them. Um, it did have a couple on a couple of leaves, but that's it. It's mainly on the jalapeno plants. So I'm probably gonna go and get some borax I'll mix that with sugar and put that around the pepper plants because then the ants will be more attracted to that. The thing about the ants and the aphids, and you can go watch all this on other videos, the thing about ants and aphids is they have a symbiotic relationship. <laughs> the hummingbirds are really funny. You saw that in a video last time. And this time it flew between me and the camera and there's only about 18 inches here and it just flew right in between us. I know you didn't see that because I have the camera setting. I'm only filming at 24 frames a second, so I'm pretty certain, certain you did not see that. <laughs> anyway, so I'll mix it with baking soda and sugar. The sugar will attract the ants, and then, or not the baking soda, the borax. The sugar will attack, attract the ants. They'll take it, they'll eat, take it back to their colony, eat it, and basically that'll kill them out or help control them. The aphids can't get up on the plants. From, from my understanding, the aphids don't really crawl around and do anything. They don't find the plants or anything like that. The ants farm them and bring them to the plants. And in exchange for protection from other predators and getting to the plants, they produce honeydew, which is what the ants like. And so the ants, the ants milk them basically. And um, 
So it's kind of like a, an aphid is kind of like a cow for an ant. So I'll get the borax and uh, take care of that situation there. And then I'll probably come out today after I find out if those yellow things are ladybug eggs. If those are ladybug eggs, I'll be really careful about not crushing those. But the aphids, I'll come out and manually remove them again because they're on the bottom of the leaves. We had a half inch of rain last night and they're all still there. So now a lot of them are not there. I did take them all off because I removed them manually, but um, I'm, I'm actually amazed at how many show back up overnight. So yeah, so this here So I'll check to see if these, see the ants coming out here farming, making sure that, that the honeydew's okay. So I'll check to see if those are ladybug eggs, and then I will just, I will just manually, you know, the aphids, you just pretty much, you can crush them. And I had so many of them. See, now those are all dead aphids. Look at this. That's amazing how quickly they come back. So hopefully my ladybugs will start coming back too. But the good news is, is look, we're getting peppers. We're getting some jalapenos. So hopefully I can keep the aphids because look, it's they're destroying my plants. They suck all the life out of your plant. So I will work on the aphid control, but we're getting jalapenos on, on both plants. But I still see lots of ants coming out here to make sure that their aphids are working for them. And I have a lot of aphids on all these plants. So yeah, I'll be working on getting getting rid of the aphids. Because um, I don't want to use, we used to use, a long time ago, we used to use seven dust. And we just don't want to use that kind of stuff anymore. So I'm gonna stick with the dimitaceous earth and I use the borax and stuff for the ants. The chickens are very active today too. I put some, I put some uh, some pine shavings in their nesting boxes and then I flattened out the nesting boxes and I can see where they have been walking around in there a little bit. Um, the good thing is, is it doesn't look like they're sleeping in there and it doesn't look like they're making too much of a mess in there. So maybe they're starting to get to that point where they're thinking about, hmm, maybe this is where I come to lay eggs, which is what we want them to learn. Look at that. There was two of them in nesting boxes. They were walking around. They're not pooping in there. But they were walking around and they were thinking, hmm, maybe this is where I come to lay eggs. That's right, girls. You come to lay eggs in there. Mm-hmm. Good morning. So maybe they're figuring it out. That's good. All right, so that's it for this episode. Look at my tomatoes. Look at that. Already getting them in. Look at all those. Look at that tomato. Looks good. All right, so everything's growing in. It's coming in very nicely. It's nice to have the natural rain too because it's different than the, the water. Even though I pull the water out of a well, it's different water and man, the plants just really perk up. All the flowers over there, all the flowers that we just planted are just doing wonderful over there. So anyway, that's it for this episode. If you like what you see, please give me a subscribe. If you see something I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. If you, if you like what you see, Give me a comment, give me a thumbs up, like and share. And until next time, cheers.